Hello and welcome to Web Learning with Knowledge Sharing. Today's video is another video on how to use the timer of the STM32, but this time we'll use it also with an interrupt to control one of the outputs. In today's video, you learn how to set up the timer with the interrupt on the Cubemix, how to generate the code with the Cubemix and to use the HAL functions, and indicate the timer interrupt with the let toggle. To set the Cubemix, we'll choose one of the timers, we'll set the clock source to internal clock. We'll enable one of the GPIOs. This time will be the LED in the nuclear board in order to turn on and off. The prescaler settings will set it to 32,000 and the counter period will be 1,000. If you don't understand why I've used those numbers, please go and watch the first video on the timer. You'll see a link right here on the top corner. Another thing that we need to configure under the timer is the NVIC settings we need to turn it on just by clicking enable. The way that the HAL library works is after the timer initializes, it will start the process and you'll either get HAL OK, HAL error or HAL busy. When an interrupt happens, it will go into the IRQ handler for one of the timers, either timer one up to timer 10. This will go in either to the process callback or to the process error callback. The functions that we'll need to use is the HAL timer base start interrupt IT, the timer callback when the interrupt happens, and the GPIO let toggle. In user code begin 2, we need to use the HAL timer base start interrupt of timer 2 for this example. This will start the timer. In user code begin 4, we'll do the callback handling, so HAL timer periodic elapse callback. When the interrupt jumps into this function, we'll use a toggle pin to toggle the LED in our case. Now let's see how it works in the Cubemix. After opening the Cubemix, I'll go to access to MCU selector. I'll choose the L053 nuclear board that I always use. This is the board, double click, yes, and all the pins are set correctly. In this board, I don't have any oscillators. So first of all, I'll go to system core, RCC, I'll disable both crystals. Then I'll go to timers, timer two, source clock, internal clock, prescaler, 32,000, counter period, 1,000. Clock configuration, we'll use the maximum, 32. And there is nothing else we need to do here. Next, project manager, we'll give it the name. As always, we'll use the True Studio and we'll generate the code. Open project. So our window opened, timer, SRC, main. We'll go to user begin to. We'll add HAL timer two, because this is the timer two that we're using. We're not writing anything in the while one because everything is working in the interrupt. We'll go to user code begin four. HAL team periodic callback. And now we'll toggle the GPIO. If you remember, the PI5 is the output for the L for the LED green. And if you write a username to the pin, you can use it when you're writing your code. So LD2, GPIO port, LD2, pin, and this will toggle the pin. And that's it. Let's compile. No errors, everything is fine. Let's click debug. I'm clicking resume. And nothing happens on the board. Let's do a quick test why it's not doing. Let's pause this. So it stops at the hot timer base start interrupt. So the interrupt is not starting. Let's stop this. Go back to the Cubemix. And we did this. Ah, I forgot the NVIC. So this is not working. And this is something really great about the Cubemix. If you make a mistake or something, you can always go back, fix what you did, generate code, close because we have the project open, go back, right click, refresh, compile again. Let's click debug, resume. And now I put the breakpoint and you can see it stopped at the hot GPIO toggle pin. So it went all the way, something it didn't work before. I'll remove the breakpoint. 
and click resume and the LED is flashing every one second. I hope you like this video. Click the thumbs up, put in the comments, let me know what you think. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.